for it TV. The world is thinking. When I was a, a young Zen student, uh, not so, such a young as such a young human being, I was I was uh, uh, seventy three. I was thirty when I when I bumped into a Zen master and began to practice. Um, uh, six months after I began to practice Zen, I went up to him and I said, well, I guess it's about time for me to learn Chinese and Sanskrit now, don't you think? And he gave me one of his patented withering looks, um, which, you know, would have been totally mortifying if, if it had been personal and was, in fact, um, wonderfully empowering. And he said to me, why would you want to do that? And I said, well, to read the great Buddhist Mahayana texts in the original, of course. And he said, why would you bother with the words of the Buddha when what you need is inside yourself? And I took that to heart. And uh, one benefit of that was that I never learned Chinese. <laughs> but when I began to work with Lao Tzu, it, it was very apparent that that's something I needed to do. Um, I... Uh, I wouldn't have dared do that if I hadn't felt what I used to call an umbilical connection with him, that I felt that I was understanding the text after many years of Zen practice at a level that uh, translators hadn't before, uh, that the translators had been linguists and scholars and theologians, and that there were some very essential things that were being missed. I'll give you two examples. Um, in, in the Tao Te Ching, there are many chapters that talk about the master, the person in complete harmony with the way things are, the person who can't find a problem. Um, and in every single translation, somebody told me when I published mine that there had been 103 into English alone before mine came out. In every single translation, the translator said he, and to my mind, it seemed absurd that in a, uh, in a text as grounded and fluid and open-hearted and aware as the Tao Te Ching that an archetype of the wise person as a male would be sent out. It didn't make any sense to me. And so what I did was I alternated chapters, one chapter he, one chapter she, and after I did this, I checked with a uh, acquaintance of mine who was a Chinese scholar and found out that in fact, the Chinese personal pronoun is not gender specific. Duh. Um, another example, uh, in several of the passages about the master, uh, the Tao Te Ching talks about uh, the master keeping people ignorant and filling their bellies as if the master is some kind of proto-fascist dictator. and. Again, I felt certain that that couldn't be correct. And so what I did was uh, write a version that said, the master teaches people to not know and fills their essence. And again, when I checked with this Chinese scholar, he said, that's it. <laughs> 